This video will demonstrate the calculations required to convert between hydronium ion concentration and pH. So we know that pH is some kind of a measure of how acidic something is. And how acidic a substance is, is directly related to its the concentration of hydronium ions, or sometimes just written as hydrogen ions, in solution. So the symbol for concentration are these square brackets like this. So anytime you see something in square brackets, or at least in the concept context of chemistry, this is going to mean concentration. But notice I didn't say pH is equal to the hydronium ion concentration. The thing is, hydronium ion concentrations are really small. So we're going to have numbers like, uh, let me just throw out there, 10 to the minus 4. And this could be in moles per liter. Suppose we have 10 to the power of minus 4 moles per liter hydronium ions in solution. We want something that's a little more convenient for pH. And so this is what we're going to call a pH of 4. And suppose we had a concentration of 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter of hydronium ions. This would correspond to a pH of 3. So this helps clarify already that idea that when we go from a pH of 4 to a pH of 3, we are multiplying the concentration of hydronium ions by 10. And notice that if you take 10 to the minus 4 and you times it by 10, you get 10 to the minus 3. So really what we're doing is we're moving the decimal place once in terms of concentration, but we're getting one step in the pH. So those were two really simple examples. And if I gave you 10 to the minus 2, I'm sure you would say the pH is 2. But now what happens if we have numbers in between um, just 10 to the power of something? So suppose you had 6.31 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter, and you are wondering what the pH is. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. So the mathematical concepts we're using is powers of 10. So you can see 10 to the minus 4, 10 to the minus 3 are different powers of 10. And the opposite function to powers of 10 is the logarithm. So you may not have studied this in math yet, but we will just go through the formulas that we will need for chemistry and how to use them. So our two formulas are as follows. pH equals the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. And the other one is that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the minus pH. So these two formulas will let us do what we need for calculating or going back and forth between pH and hydronium ion concentration. And like I said, mathematically, a logarithm is just the opposite of the power of 10. So just like addition and subtraction are opposite operations or multiplication and division, logarithm and 10 to the power are opposite operations. Um, we also have a negative going on in here, so negative log or 10 to the negative pH. That is because we have sort of an inverted scale for pH. So the more acidic something is, the lower number it gets on our pH scale. So the more hydronium ions, the smaller the pH. So let's take the example given and calculate the pH for 6.31 times 10 to the third moles per liter. We know that pH is equal to negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So in that case, we have negative log of 6.31 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter. And I just realized my green over here, my negative is not showing very well. But let's pull in our calculator. And on the TA-83, the log is beside the number 7. So negative log of 6.31 and then times 10 to the power of negative 3, I'm going to put as e negative 3. So if you do second comma, the number just above the, or the button just above the 7, that gives you the capital E. That just means times 10 to the power of, and I have 10 to the power of negative 3. So this should be 2.199. And with a few more digits, 2.19997. And we have to have a special note about significant digits here. Logarithms have special rules for significant digits. And long story short is that for pH, only d uh, digits after the decimal are significant. So my 6.31 
was one, two, three significant digits. That means I now need three digits after the decimal place because pH is the number I have here is pH and only digits after the decimal are significant. So one, two, three, I have to round that nine. And so I can say this is approximately 2.200, rounding that nine up to a 10. So just to clarify, for pH only, it's the digits after the decimal. For hydronium ion concentration, that's just the normal number. So that gets counted like normal for significant digits. But pH only numbers after the decimal are significant. So three significant digits reads like this. And we don't need to write any units beside pH. So I can fill that in here, 2.200 is the pH corresponding to 6.31 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter of hydronium ions. So let's try one example the other way. Let's suppose we have a pH of 9.45 and we want to know the hydronium ion concentration. So we know that the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So in our case that is going to be 10 to the minus 9.45 so that is 10 to the power of 9.45 and we get 3.548 times 10 to the negative 10 and so again let's invoke our significant digits rule here 9.45 is a measurement of pH so only the decimals after the digits after the decimal are significant the 4 and the 5 so that's two significant digits so to get two significant digits, we're going to round this to 3.5 times 10 to the minus 10. And our concentrations are in moles per liter. So this is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 10 moles per liter. So just some other things to note. This number here of 3.5 times 10 to the minus 10, that's a very small number compared to all the other ones on the screen right now and that corresponded with a high pH. As a matter of fact, this pH of 9.45 is actually a basic substance. So pH is not limited to acidic things. In this case, we are measuring the number of hydronium ions present in a basic sample. So you can still do that um, because hydronium ions are present in basically all solutions. Um, just their concentration varies based on how acidic they are. And so the acidic substances we have here with numbers below 7 for the pH, they all have much higher concentrations of hydronium ions, much uh, smaller powers of 10 then. Right? And if that doesn't make sense, we could rewrite uh, this 3.5 as 0, 0.00 with 9 zeros and then 3.5 moles per liter. So that's a very, very tiny concentration whereas the one above it we could write as 0, 0, 00631 moles per liter, much higher concentration. So sometimes these powers of 10 can be a little bit confusing because a bigger number is actually uh, smaller. So just keep that in mind when you're comparing things, that you're really comparing apples to apples. Um, we know things that have more hydronium ions are more acidic and those have a lower pH. So this video demonstrated how to calculate the pH or the hydronium ion concentration given the opposite and especially keep in mind that significant digits rule.